Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hold My Nugget Studios once again for your 2023 XFL Week 6 game. I like commentary. 37-yard field goal for the Sea Dragons through the uprights, and it's good. They lead 3-0. Meanwhile, in the biggest matchup of the year, the Houston Vigorous Fellatios fight their way into the end zone as the Roughnecks take the lead over the defenders. And they'd waste little time taking out their Uno cards and giving DC two for their mistakes. 8-0 lead. San Antonio in field goal range, 29 yards through the uprights and good. They lead 3-0 over the Renegades. The defenders would follow suit, boot in a 33-yard field goal for three points. They cut their deficit down to five. Think fast, jet sweep. Hand off to Jennings, runs into the end zone, touchdown battle Hawks. They lead over the Vipers. But look at homie get absolutely curved by the referee. <laughs> I don't know you. You could have seen this video early and ad free. Make sure to join on patreon.com slash chisel Adonis and you won't have to worry about ads. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description. Nevertheless, the Battle Hawks 2 would take out their Uno cards and give the Vipers 2 for their mistakes. They lead 8 0 as well. 26 yard chip shot field goal for the Guardians of the L train. They put it through the upright and it's good tie game in Orlando. <laughs> what is that? Oh shit. What is that? The kickers are going to work early in the first half, but not anymore. No, oh, I missed. His kick is no good. At least the Sea Dragons wouldn't suffer the same fate as they regain a three-point lead on a 27-yard field goal. For San Antonio, just like Black China, you can change your name, but you'll always be a stripper. Fumble on the play, picked up by the Brahmas, returned all the way into the end zone for the score. San Antonio by nine. Had the quarterback looking like an amputee at the knuckle, but my fingers put it on the ground. For a retired Super Bowl champion, huh? Heinz Ward built like a block of Munster cheese. Keep running, brother. I need you in shape for your Hall of Fame speech. Then on the extra point to make it a two-possession game. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Slithery. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Holy shit. The Guardian, sick and tired of being the league's doormat, finally find the end zone and take the lead against Seattle. Let me know in the comment section, do y'all think Orlando will ever win a game this season? I don't want to spoil the ending, but come on now. We already know. It's Orlando. Back to Las Vegas we go. This game's been all St. Louis, and it's not stopping now. They lead by two possessions. The D.C. Bloods are in the Sioux Whoop zone. Hand off to Abram Smith. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown defenders. They take their first lead of this game. <laughs> Sylvester, look out! Behind you! He got you now, SpongeBob! Here comes the XFL vagina. Third and three for Ben DiCucci. Pussy! Looking into the end zone, got a man. Yoink! But he plays for the other team. Pass intercepted by the Guardians. Yo, they might actually win. Man's accuracy been on zero all day. It's as if he went to Orlando and had his power taken by the Nerd Lux. Who was he throwing to? Wait a minute. If you guys haven't downloaded the Underdog Fantasy app yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. I've collected so many W's, they might subtract the letter from the alphabet and hand it over to me. I'm up $3,500. Big money! Make sure you click the link in my description, download the Underdog Fantasy app, use the promo code Adonis, participate in the Pick'ems. We already know it's done wonders for me. I'm sure it'll do wonders for you. And keep in mind, it will match your first deposit up to $100 only on Underdog Fantasy. Make sure you let them know I sent you. One point game in the battle of the year. Here come the Roughnecks. Pass over the middle. Yoink. Intercepted at the 39 for the defenders, and they're headed to McDonald's. Can I get a McPick six? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The Roughnecks getting worked in this bitch. Then on the two point conversion, Tom Hu looking towards his left got his man 17 unanswered points for DC. A hot <laughs> low snap for the Brahmas. Lord of mercy, my man. Under a minute left to play in the first half, the violent Cunnilingus is desperately trying to get something going, but they ain't do shit since the first quarter. The necrophilia beginning in Las Vegas, because McCarron looking towards his right, he's got Shepard wide open, and it appears that the pants have been lowered for the Vipers, because they may be dead, but somehow they're still getting fucked. 17-point lead for the Battlehawks. 54-yard field goal for the Sea Dragons, and look at the wizardry of this man's foot. I thought that was going to be wide to the right. Somehow hooked it in. One point deficit going into the break. Yes, yes. Look at the Renegades. Don't even know where to line up. This man was about to hand off to nobody. Stupid fucking dummy. Finally, the Vipers would do something on offense. I forgot to tell you. I lied!
Mains threw it straight to the defender. I know their film study gotta be frustrating. Rod Woodson's a Hall of Famer, but his team is garbage. 53-yard attempt for the Renegades through the uprights, and it's good. They make this a six-point game. Former Packer quarterback Kurt Benkert is in the game for the Brahmas. But he out there giving out donations. Donations. You need a shout out? Book me on cameo.com slash chisels Adonis and get a shout out, birthday wishes, draft order for your fantasy football team. It don't matter. Book me. What are you waiting for? The Roughnecks must have forgotten that football is 60 minutes because they've been getting worked since the first quarter. They had an 8-0 lead and now they've given up 23 unanswered. The Vipers feeling the exact same pain because the necrophilia continues in Las Vegas. They getting thrusted. No Vaseline up the poop chute. Arlington drives. Drives all the way down the field, Plitt looking towards the end zone, got his man on a spectacular catch, maximum extension, maximum effort, he whispered in the Brahma's ears, hold my nuggets, suck my dick, tie game, 9 all. and of course they'd fuck it up on the extra point, they'd fail to cross the end zone, Orlando had the lead for a little bit of time, but just like an incel during No Nut November, the coochie always wins, and it's not an only thing subscription. It's a Dakuchi touchdown as the Sea Dragons are back in front. But the human clitoris isn't done. Look at him extending the play as the pass rush is non-existent. Buying his time finds his man in the end zone. Seven point lead for Seattle. A little over 20 minutes left to play and finally the Vipers would get it together. Perez's pass. <laughs> Fucking dummy. This man is ass. Back to Orlando, we go hand off to Double D, no titties. Devin Darrington running through the Sea Dragons, slipped right through their defenses, 43 yards into the end zone, touchdown. But rather go for the tie, they would go for two. <laughs> their man got laid out and the Sea Dragons would intercept it. They wouldn't get a mick pick too, because that fat summer bitch can't run. Sloter in at quarterback for the Renegades. I've got you in my sights. God damn, that shit hurt. DC continuing to score a 33-yard field goal, 26 unanswered points. Ensuing drive, the Roughnecks need something. Rainbows the ball down the right side line, wide open is Burnett, taking DC to Cinnabar Island. Burns them for 85 yards into the end zone. Finally, Houston is on the board again. Look at the route at the top of the screen. Nearly had that man come out his equipment. Trailing by 12, Houston has to go for three to make this a one-possession game. McDonald, that quarterback, knowing he can't run out of bounds throws a shuffle pass but it sails incomplete you want to become an official member at hold my nuggets incorporated head over to chiseledadonashop.com and grab your merch stock is flying off the shelves get it before it's gone grab a hat let the people know your affiliation into the fourth quarter we go seattle only leading by one day stretch that lead to four ensuing drive for dc tamu looking over the middle lucky jackson wide open goes into the end zone untouched 30 yard touchdown dc begins the necrophilia again. Houston, we have a problem for the second consecutive week despite starting undefeated. Y'all getting cooked. 50 yard field goal for Orlando to make it a one point game again through the uprights and good 20 to 19 with 11.28 left to play. Houston trying to stop the bleeding handoff to Borgie dives into the end zone for the score cuz. That's how white man runs a football. They're still losing by 14 and for whatever reason their extra point attempts have been god awful. Fourth and one, and the Battle Hawks trying to pour vinegar in the wound, but it backfire as McCarron is sacked. Turnover on down. 45 yard field goal for the Brahmas, refusing to stay tied with the Renegades through the uprights and good. They lead by three. Seven minutes left to play, trailing by 23. Lovett gets the ball on the swing, runs through St. Louis, goes into the end zone for the score. But would they be able to take out their Uno cards? And I guess not. Well, damn, I couldn't even finish my statement. I don't care what nobody say. I got DC winning the whole thing. They dominating everybody all season. Six minutes left to play. Dakuchi looking over the middle. Got his man. Wide open touchdown. Sea Dragons lead by seven. But on the two-point conversion the Guardians would make things interesting as they'd force an incompletion and they've got a chance when they get the ball back. Unlike Arlington with a chance to tie, they shank it wide to the right on a 36-yard field goal. Who was he trying to hit with the football in the stands? 314 left to play. The battle 
Hawks pretty much got this game in the bag, but they'd like to take the dead Namekian to the funeral home and put the nail in the coffin in the back of the end zone, participating in the five toes down challenge, is Shepard with his second touchdown of the day. Think fast, Houston would sneak their way into the end zone, but they're still trailing by two scores. They've got to convert on this three-point conversion. McDonald takes the snap, but they're in a Burger King town. BK, have it your way. You suck! Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. Also, follow me on all social media networks, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, at Chiseled Adonis. Make sure you get your fix of all Chiseled Adonis content. With only one timeout trailing by 11, they've got to convert on this onside fourth and 15. They attempt to hook and ladder, but got nowhere to go. It's going to be a turnover on downs. DC's going to get the football and the victory as they improve to 6-0. and Orlando with their back up against the wall. Paxton Lynch in retreat. Looking over the middle, he's got his man. Tells one defender, give me your ankles, but he's chewing. Bit, bit, bit. But up fingers fumble on the play. It's recovered by Seattle, and this game is over. Orlando's gonna lose. With the game on the line, this man is uh, 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 coughing up the ball. They put this man into the laundromat. Had him on a spin cycle. Get him off the field. They're 0-6. 46-yard attempt for the Brahmas. Through the uprights and good, they lead by six. The game all but over for Las Vegas. Fourth and ten, and they're still getting pounded. Somebody stop this. Somebody stop the damn man. Last chance for the Renegades, 14 seconds remaining, out of timeouts, pass over the middle, intercepted, San Antonio wins, split through it straight to the Brahmas, and now Hines Ward's in shape, out of shape ass can celebrate, as his squad would tell the Renegades to join the Guardians, Roughnecks, and Vipers in taking out their Metro cars, and getting aboard... The El Trey. You lose. Switch over. You lose. Failure. What's the dinner? Fresh hot ales. Fresh hot ales. Fresh hot ales. You mean to tell me you watched the entire video but you haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button and become a member on Patreon or on YouTube to get access to the Discord. We're waiting for you in the Shadow Realm. Do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Please! Please! What are you waiting for, huh? Oh my god.